kids, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm gonna cook up a little art today. <laughs> Before we get started, uh, every once in a while, I like to give shout outs to some emerging artists and I have discovered two new folks recently. Um, the first one I found on Instagram, his name is Brock. His channel is B period R period Turner Art. Uh, very fun, bright, colorful pores. My favorite thing that he's been doing is taking a marble and doing a puddle pour and then letting the marble swirl around while he tilts to make um, a pretty design. So much fun and I'm definitely gonna try that technique with the marble. Uh, so check him out. And the second one I just discovered last night, it's Cindy Vanderveen's art. I'll put her link up as well. Uh, I'm not sure how I came across her channel on YouTube. Um, she does modified blooms and they are gorgeous. She's had her channel up, I think for at least a year now. So go show her some love and uh, she's a master at modifying blooms. And in fact, when I was looking through her videos, I discovered that a year ago, she had put up a couple videos called Deconstructed Blooms. And I was like, oh! someone else thought of it too way before me but great minds because um i hadn't seen anyone else uh deconstruct balloons before but she was on it way ahead of me so kudos to cindy plus you know she talks during her videos and she paints in her kitchen as well so i felt like she was a kindred spirit so go check out cindy's channel and that'll come up you know up there somewhere um today uh, I'm getting off my blue green gold kick and I'm going to do a deconstructed bloom um, and I'm going to try using a lot of colors like I think I have seven colors made up um, I'm going to do a 16 by 20 canvas and uh, try to put the blooms in different areas instead of three in a row like move them around a little bit and get a little different composition so let's see what happens let me get you down Okay, back in business. We're gonna eliminate some of these colors. So we're gonna get a teal. Teal, oops. Teal, come on out. Teal. I'm gonna give tail feather the night off for a second. I'm gonna go with sangria. Some Aztec gold. Just a little bit of the um, permanent violet dark, just a little, because on top of that, I want to put this, I forgot the name of this color. Yep, we're gonna stop right there. Stop right there. Here we go, take two.
I like that better already. I like it with a little bit of white. Oh, that's probably too much. You can already tell that it's better. At least I can. Like that, there's just the right amount of colors. Seven colors. What was I thinking? That's craziness. I love this. I love this. I tried not to do it to every petal. Like here, I was very careful to stop because um, I could get carried away with the black and white petals easily. Let me puff. I'm watching these two. They look okay. Let me give a little puff in here. Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. Let's give me some cells. That's super thick there. Did you see how fast that, that collected? That tells me there's a ton of paint on here. All right, let me move my hair dryer out of the way. In my house paint. I'm liking this in the middle. I'm liking this as a focal point too. All right. Normally I head toward that corner. Is that where I wanna go? I see no reason to change now, so let's go there. Go for it, come back real quick. Well, I'm at the top. I'm gonna scooch on over here. I might leave that old stuff on this one corner. Does that bother me? I'll worry about it later. Going real slow. Mind frame, yeah. Going real slow to get to this bottom. It's trying to get to the bottom and the corners kind of almost simultaneously. And then I can just kind of go for the corner. Oh, everything's kind of on the diagonal. That's interesting. Maybe I leave it like that. And then let me swing one over. Kind of up and over. Is that what I really want to do though? Let me think this through. Let me stop and look at it. See, you can tell I'm already more invested in this one than I was that last iteration.
think I want to take a little off of the, the end nearest me before I go over. It's almost there though. I'm trying to think what will happen when I do it if I bring it, come over here. Or do I not worry about it for now and just continue on, carry on as I was. I'm going to carry on for a second. I'm just going to have to go for it and I don't want to. But I'm going to have to go. Don't be chicken, Karen. Go for it. Okay, come back up. Oh, you missed a little bit of the corner. That's all right. My side bloom, I don't want to lose it completely. Oh, but you didn't. You kept it. I'm like talking to myself. All right. Now we can swing over. Take a little bit of this blank stuff off, just a little. Something like that. I'll bring it back to the middle a second. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, magic. Let me stare at the one corner I haven't touched and see if I can just live with purple. Or maybe I add, maybe I add a little bit of, I scoop some color off my tarp and put it on there and just like kind of give it a little swipe. Just so it has a little something because it's pretty and it matches, but it's, you know, there's no like cells or it's just all kind of a little bit, it's not muddy, but it's like the colors are all modeled together right there. Um, I love my bottom, not my bottom, <laughs> the painting bottom. <laughs> I crack myself up. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands and giggle and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I got the giggles all out of me. <laughs> Cracking myself up. I'm just gonna scoop up with the popsicle stick and put a little bit of this white light blue on this one tippy tip of a corner. It's missing something. The other corner is great. So this is my only uh, trouble spot. And as I was staring here, standing here staring at this, as I like to do, I really, really love the teal and the gold running through this, the quiet areas. They're all very flowy and ethereal except for this one here. So I'm just going to grab it here and just kind of soften up this line a bit with my skewer. So just so it's not so hard. Even with that black line here, just kind of soften this up. Maybe Take the gold here and kind of boss around the teal a little bit and run that off. Here, that's softer. It's amazing what one little tiny thing um, will do um, to fix composition, something as easy as that. So this here, I'm going to, let's scoop up. I don't, I'm really not that picky about what color it's going to be. Like, even if it's white cells, it's fine by me. Here, we'll put some here and leave the purple. Like that. Put some cell activator on my palette knife. And just give that a little swipe. Make sure the whole knife is... Don't spill it into the art, goober girl. Ooh, 
Ooh, I don't know if I like it all white. I'm going to get all picky over this corner. I'd rather have it just be white. I don't like that at all. It's not at all. Rejected. It was a good idea in theory. I thought. I'm just going to push this. Push it, push it, push it up against that, those colors. And then we'll tilt it off. Oh yeah, see I can take that bloom up there and then bring it back down. Let it go up, lose a little paint and then have it slide down without hurting anything at all. We'll come down a little middle, a little bit. Keep everything else the same. Don't get my lines. Let me look at my lines now. Oh no, see I took, came down too far because now the black is showing up and I don't want the deep black everywhere. Let's take it back up a little bit. See how that looks. See if I'm done. Oh, that's a cool corner now. Let me stare. Got some like white line right here. I know I didn't spill anything. I think it's been there this whole time. I'm gonna futz with that a little bit. Make it look almost invisible. Um one, I'm gonna go one baby tilt. Can you see the whole canvas? I'm gonna go one baby tilt toward you just to get off this one, this is being so picky too, one little bit of black. Just like, it, some of it can stay because I like the drama of it, but um, it can be too much of a good thing too. So I'm just gonna go, If it looks like, nope, because it's going to stretch out the black everywhere else, and I don't want to. I'm going to live with it. Don't be so picky. Put this back up where you were. I'm checking out also, too, like how much paint is left on this canvas. I think I did a good job of um, tilting, off, tilting off what I needed. I'm going to call it and say, ta-da. I kind of love it. Kind of. I do. I love it. Like, all caps love. Uh... Let me get you down for a close-up. Okay, guys, I'm back with the uh, close-up of the wet results. I'm, I'm kind of kind of humbled and amazed that I made this, honestly. Uh, I hope you guys don't get sick of uh, deconstructed blooms because it's all I want to do. I'm so in love. And when I look at this piece in particular, I think rightfully so. Um... I just love, 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 love being able to play with the composition, um, with the tilting. It's just so much fun. That's just amazing. That's the bottom. Um, that little blue section right there. So, so cute. Uh, I loved the, the bloom off to the center coming off the sides here. That was a great idea. Um, really, really happy with that. But like the blue in the quiet area, they kind of make this painting for me, especially on up here, like my little pink comet streaking across the canvas. It just makes me smile. And this little cluster of white cells before we get into um, this fabulous corner up here. Just, just so cool. Let me turn it around this way. Get you up high. Like that. Please dry well. Stay tuned for the dry results.
Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results of this piece. I'm 90% happy with it, how it dried. I'll show you why it's not 100%. Um, it's it's flipping amazing and gorgeous though. There's the top or bottom. I'm going to hold it in both orientations. You guys can help me pick which way it goes. I'll do this so you can see the gold and the purple shimmer. There's the bloom off the side. The color colors and then there's the other with remnants of the other bloom at the bottom this is one orientation like this I don't know if I like it like that I think it goes I keep changing my mind I think it goes like this right with this on the bottom let me know which way you think it, it should hang um, I am going to resin this piece, I've decided, because I want all those pigments to bling out. Um, I think it's a pretty striking piece um, already, just because of the colors and the composition. And the reason why I'm not 100% happy is because, and I mean, this is so picky. Like, right up in here, you see, it got a couple little speckles. <laughs> and they bug me. Just like, you know, I want everything to be ultra perfect, but... I might be able to touch them up. I'm sure once I put that under resin, you're never going to see those. But there it is. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I've noticed that over 50% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribers. Why not? Smash that button, as they'd like to say. That's my sales pitch. Best I got. You guys take care and... Uh, I'll see you in a few days. Peace out.